Hello, my name's Marty Marr from Gradition Properties and welcome to our market update. Well, it's been an incredible property market and it's driven by two factors. The main factors are the reaction to COVID and being locked down and people wanted to change that and having the time to look. And the other factor is affordability. And it's not about affordability of houses, it's actually about the affordability of finance. With rates going at around 2% at the, at the moment, it's really, when people do their calculations, at the end of the day, it'll come down to that, then they realise that they can afford it and they're proceeding, despite the prices that have been achieved. For us as agents working at the coalface, we've been genuinely amazed at the amount of buyer inquiry that we've been getting on the properties. So it's been important for us to have a process in place so everyone has a fair opportunity to buy the property from a buyer's point of view and therefore maximising the result for our vendors. So we have a really robust process where we quote a range around the vendor's expectation, ask for the buyers to put the offers in the range, then we take the offers to the vendor and establish a reserve and then go back to the buyers and those that meet the reserve can then um, go into a, a private auction that we have at the end and we've had up to 20 bidders on these private auctions which has resulted in not only the buyers having every chance to buy the property but also really maximum results for our vendors which has been fantastic. We used this process recently to produce a new Surf Coast record price with the sale of 4 Ocean Boulevard in Janjuk. The price is actually undisclosed as a courtesy to the buyer however I can tell you that it's well surpassed the previous record which was $7.25 million. So a great result for our vendors. The other fascinating thing that's been happening during the COVID lockdowns for the property market down here is the amount of properties we've been selling by FaceTime inspections only. So the people haven't physically inspected uh, when they've signed the contract. Typically what happens is they do the FaceTime inspection, then they'll send a building inspector around or a friend and or a friend and, and then proceed from there. And that's happened on multiple occasions now and seems to be becoming more and more the norm. The most common question we're getting asked at the moment is how long is this gonna go on for? And our feeling is that in a post-vaccinated world, I think that normality will slow this down or will just take the urgency out of the market, which is probably likely to occur sometime next year. Um, but we saw it in between lockdown three and four where people started to go back to the footy and kids went back to school that some of the urgency came out of the market and we expect that's what's probably likely to happen moving forward. So I hope you found that all informative. Uh, if we can be assistance in any real estate matter, feel free to give us a call on the following numbers.